I guess from the title of this video, you can tell that I'm running a little bit low on Battlefield content ideas. Well, in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the longest reloads in Battlefield games. Often DICE will balance a weapon by giving it a really long reload, or in some cases, just opt to turn the weapon into a bit of a meme, giving it a massive reload time that essentially makes it pretty pointless to take unless you're looking to embarrass an enemy player. I will be taking a look at Battlefield 3, 4, 1 and 5, attempting to find a top 10 list of longest reloads from empty, giving you examples of each. If I've missed any off, which is completely possible because there are a lot of weapons in these games, please make sure to comment down below and I'll check them out. The Battlefield 4 M249 only has a reload of 6.2 seconds. Now, that is quite long, and even 6.2 seconds when rounds remaining does make it quite a difficult weapon to take if you plan on reloading a lot. I will say, though, that the M249 is an amazing weapon in Battlefield 4, and 6.2 seconds isn't really that bad for a weapon of that size. The Battlefield 1 Nagant Revolver takes around six to seven seconds to reload. Now, I haven't actually got the exact statistic on this because it's not on SimThick. I've tried to measure it myself, and unfortunately I don't have the weapon unlocked. I'm one of those players that doesn't really complete Battlefield games when it comes to unlocking weapons. I find a weapon I like and I stick with it. It's the only secondary weapon I don't actually have in the game, and I had to nip onto YouTube to pinch this bit of footage from Isham, so his channel will be linked in the description down below. As you can tell, six to seven seconds to reload a secondary is quite significant, but it is a really, really cool reload. Dice are renowned for this sort of stuff, making things look just unbelievable with the animations. The Battlefield 5 Liberator takes 6.9 seconds to reload. You're also only firing one round before popping another one back in, taking nearly seven seconds. Not worth taking, a bit of a meme weapon, but there we go. Some people do enjoy it, it does look quite cool, and the inspect feature on BF5 does make it look even better. Battlefield 3 had some pretty amazing weapons, but the one with the longest reload was the M60, with a 7.2 second reload when empty. It's a massive weapon, of course great for your back rages, anything where you've got a pile of enemies in front of you, and a favourite for those that like to go prone in Metro. 7.2 seconds though, when empty, is a long time. Not the longest, but still quite a pain. The Battlefield 4 Type 88 LMG. A favourite of mine when I used to play Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation, this one has a 7.3 second reload when empty, and again a 7.3 second reload when rounds remain. Quite a lot longer than some of the other LMGs in Battlefield 4, but a little bit shorter than a few. It's kind of in the middle if you like, but 7.3 seconds is a long time when you're looking to reload this thing. The Battlefield 4 M60E4 has a 7.8 second reload when empty, and even worse, it's 7.8 seconds whatever you do, even if you've got rounds remaining. As you can see in the background, this thing does take quite a long time, and it's getting to the point where you feel like there's just no point in reloading at all. If somebody's rushing you, you are completely reliant on your secondary weapon, and maybe even gadgets, as 7.8 seconds is one hell of a long time when you're waiting to start firing again. The Battlefield 1 M1917 has an 8.33 second reload when empty and around 7.5 seconds when rounds are remaining. The example in the background shows you how long it takes to drain this thing of its ammo, but also that reload is painful. Yes, you do see people reloading it, even though 250 rounds does seem like a lot to get through. You'd probably kill half the enemy team before needing to reload this thing. You might be switching out to your secondary because you're only going to be reloading it from full once unless you're dropping yourself, of course, the resupplies and getting more ammo. This thing is just insane when it comes to the amount of rounds and, of course, that reload time. The Battlefield 4 UTS-15 takes 0.83 seconds per shell to reload. 15 rounds in total, you're going to be looking at around 12 to 13 seconds for a full reload. That does seem like an eternity when you're reloading this weapon, but remember these shotguns in Battlefield 4, it's usually one or two rounds you reload after every shot, maybe after two or three shots if you're taking on an enemy. 
that's only going to be one or two seconds in total. So it's not that bad to use, certainly not as bad as one of the big LMGs that require a seven to eight second reload or something ridiculous. These are far more manageable, but if you are bad with your ammo management and you do end up with a completely empty weapon, waiting over 10 seconds can be a real pain. The Battlefield 4 Dow 12, 1.18 seconds per shell, and as the name suggests, 12 shells means you're going to be reloading for just over 14 seconds. It's quite an interesting reload, the Dow 12. Not my favourite, and we'll get onto another shotgun in BF4, which I think is far more impressive, but still pretty nice. And it's one of those shotguns that will be spammed, usually on Locker or Metro or Pearl Market, or one of these close quarters maps. Can be very annoying to play against, but quite fun actually to use. So I suggest you go and check it out if you haven't used it before. I was actually curious in Battlefield 5 whether the repeater pistole M1912 would be a little bit longer with the reload. It does seem really long when you're using it, but it's actually quite quick, especially when you have no rounds left in the magazine. The same can be said for the Calibri in BF1. It doesn't take that long to reload the thing, even though you won't be doing much killing with it. It just doesn't take long to reload. The same goes for the well rod in Battlefield 5, another weapon that seems really slow because you have to reload it or at least do something with the weapon after every shot but the full reload is fairly quick so nothing to report there really with the battlefield 5 anti-tank rifles it's a similar story they don't take a whole lot of time to reload but single shots are fairly slow so you're going to be spending a lot of time rechambering rounds but not that much reloading the entire magazine so overall, if my calculations are correct, it's the Dow 12 from Battlefield 4 and of course previous Battlefield games that had the same weapon that takes the most time to reload. That is because of course you have individual shells over one second per shell and it just adds up. Over 14 seconds in total means it's almost twice as long to reload that weapon than some of the big LMGs. We've got the M60 at 7.2 seconds in BF3, the M60 E4 in BF4 at 7.8 seconds, which is the longest reload for an LMG in that game. And then in Battlefield 1 is the M1917 with 8.33 seconds to reload that humongous 250 round bucket on the side of the weapon. I've probably missed a couple here, and I am completely open to you having a go at me in the comments and saying, you've missed this one, it's really obvious, this one takes forever to reload, so let me know down below. I don't think, though, you're going to find anything that takes longer to reload than the Dow 12 in Battlefield games, but, of course, I'm interested to see what you have to say. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a little bit of different content today as we took a look at the longest reloads in Battlefield. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.